What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Um, just want to say thank you everyone for helping me hit 400 subscribers. I can't believe that I'm actually here. Um, when I started the channel, it was just to see how far I could get to build a, little, a community, whether it's a small one or a large one, um, and to try to collab with some of my favorite influencers as well in the Leeds United space in the future. Um, and the more subscribers and the more um, you know views and stuff I can get, the more it helps towards that so I can be part of the lead space and get my opinion out there. And, um, you know, there's something about doing this um, every day that makes me feel better um, just talking about Leeds United out in the open. Um, I talk to my dad all the time as well, um, but it's nice to hear what you guys think and um, to know that in a way I'm being heard, whether it's positive or negative, whether you guys agree or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, it sort of helps me put my thoughts into words um that's why you'll probably see me sometimes thinking when i'm talking i don't edit it as you guys know i could do it's not like i can't edit i just think it's it's just a bit of a chat i'm just talking to you guys um i'll probably edit the videos where i'm talking about the game and you know if we've lost a game i'm gonna say some more harsh things that i probably might edit out if it's not really um constructive um, i don't want to be a destructive person i want to be constructive i want to be somebody that um isn't bringing everyone's um, days down, even when we lose. I think it's, it's better to be positive. Um, and look, some of the videos are gonna be negative, but I don't wanna to get too too negative with it. So thank you very much again, I really appreciate it. Um, and, and to all you new subscribers, I really hope you stick around and can enjoy the content. Um, yeah, so most of my transfer stuff will be like this, where I'm inside a car just, just chatting. Simple videos where I just rattle things off from a newspaper. Um, similar to what one Lee's fan channel does with Connor uh, McGilligan. Uh, he does the same thing. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get as high end with some of the content he makes, makes where it's like, you know, um, full on edited videos. I've, I've got a family and I've got, I've got a young family and I've got, um, you know, a full time job and stuff. So it makes it hard to do, to sit down and have the time for that. Um, I'm not saying his life's any different. I, I don't know what he does personally, but uh, he might find it a lot easier to get that sort of stuff done. So I don't think I'll ever have that sort of uh, level of content, but I'll always put content out and I'll always speak about Leeds United and uh, my game reviews hopefully will be, um, I mean, it'll be on a weekend anyway, so I'll probably have to do it, have some time to edit it and do a bit more with it. So again, thank you very much. Um, we'll get straight into it. Not that much going on <clears throat> this weekend, so it'll be a shorter video um, and a simple one for the weekend. And if anything happens over the weekend, I'll get a video out. If not, I'll see you guys Monday. But uh, the first one is apparently we put a bid in for, um, or we, we inquired about Jovic, the uh, Real Madrid striker. Um, if you guys know him, a bit like uh, Mariano, went to, highly touted, went to Real Madrid and hasn't really kicked on. And hasn't really done it for him. Um, I don't know if you'd, do well in the Premier League. I think this one's a bit of a non-starter. Um, so it is what it is. But interesting that we were in for him. Um, I don't know if it fits the mould. I can't profess to have watched him too much. I know of him. Uh, I know of his past. But I don't really... Um, not really that... Don't know that much about him. So um, I don't think he's a striker. We Like... <laughs> He'd be big name signing, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be the one that I'd necessarily go to first. Um, on that, De Ketelaire, it's come out it, like this. This keeps changing this story, and it's annoying because he's a, he's the player that I really want us to sign. Um, so I've just had a coffee. So um, he's he is who I really want us to sign. So you know the fact that he's worth he's um, you know we're, we're in for him, and he's not really. He doesn't seem like he's interested. or well, that's the reports anyway. But the fact that we're going in just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would you keep progressing with a player that doesn't want to be with be, be it as, um, you know, apparently wants Champions League football, which is what AC Milan offer. Um, I guess the only thing is if AC Milan offer less than what we do, Club Bruges is going to pick Leeds United, whether he wants to go there or not. Um, they're going to say, well, they're offering more. Um, so we'll see what happens there, I think. It just seems to change every day. Tomorrow might be another report saying that it's going to happen and we're in deep talks. Um, the Gakpo one is the one that I was talking about where he seems to be, we're actually in contact. Um, if we can get Gakpo and Kamara in, that'd be great. But I think we still need more players. And I know that everyone's buzzing about these three, Kamara, Gakpo and Deketel there, but we haven't got another keeper and we haven't got a left back. We, we still need 
that's what we really need. Um, whether we spend a lot of money or not, um, who knows? Um, we haven't, from, you know, we've got all this money in now. We're actually 50 million to the, or 55 million to the good with the Phillips and Rafinha um, money going through. So we're actually up quite a bit. So we can spend that and, and more if we really wanted to um, on some more signings. Um, so that would be the ideal thing. Get some, get some signings in the door. I think, I don't think, you know, we needed players before this. We needed more players because it's such a thin squad and losing two of the star ones, we need to replace them with, I think two out for three in is perfect, but we still need, we still need more. Um, I know it is a rebuild, but some of these players aren't going to work out. And I, like, I hope they all do. But realistically and statistically, some of these players may not perform. Mark Rocker may be injury prone and he may not perform. Christensen, uh, I think Christensen will work out. He's my moral, he's the one that I think will work out more. Aronson, I, I, I like the look of him. He may not work out. He may end up struggling for the Premier League and he may not work out. So... They, like yes, we've got these players in, and it's fantastic, and I'm buzzing, and I want them to do well. I'm trying. I'm not trying to to say that. Uh, I don't. I'm not trying not to be negative for them to fail. I'm just being realistic in the thought that they may not do well. They may they may not perform, and they may end up becoming a squad player at best. Um, you know, Ailing might take his spot back because Christensen doesn't perform. You don't know. These guys haven't played in the Premier League before, and we they're an unknown entity, but. Fingers crossed that they all work out. That every single signing we make this year perform as good as Rafinha. Fingers crossed. Um, Moses Simon, this has come up before. I don't think this is going to happen. Uh, he's a winger from the French League. Good player. I think Bielsa was looking at him. I don't know if he's a, 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 a Marsh signing, so I won't speak too much about it. I don't think that one's a, a starter. Um, Gelhard is in advance. Talks over his contract, which is huge. Um, so happy days. Get him signed up, and all these clubs that are sniffing around, well, they can do one because um, he's a Leeds forever, <laughs> and he will be. I I think this year he's going to be huge for us, and if he can progress, and you know, even if he can get six, seven Premier League goals, Bamford can get eleven. I don't know. You know, that's that's an okay return from your front too, enough that you can. You know, I think that's enough to to stay to to sort of stay up at least, and then we need contributions from the midfield. You know, um, that's the biggest thing this year. Is I think we missed players not contributing from the from the midfield. Um, the only thing I can think of while we are not getting a left back is maybe they're looking at playing Harrison there. I, you don't know what's happening behind the scenes. Maybe that's had been a chat between the club and Harrison. Harrison um, looks like Tottenham Harrison isn't going to happen because they just signed Richarlison. Um, I don't know how that works. 60 million, which is annoying because I think it's 55 rising to 60. I think Rafinha is a way better player than Richarlison. I think Everton have, have had a, an absolutely mad one here. How they got 60 million for Richarlison. I, he's a good player, but not 55 to 60 million pound worth of player. Um, and he, that's a bench player as well. He's not going to, he's not going to play up front over Harry Kane. He's not going to play over Human Son on the left. And that's where he predominantly has played. Even on the right, Kulosevsky has proved to be really, really, really good for them. So why, I don't, I don't see where he starts. So that much money for a bench player or they're going to play him as a wing back. I, I don't know how that works either. I don't, he's not a wing back. Um, but yeah, so I mean, him and Rafinha are both international, uh, Brazilian internationals. But I think Rafinha is a better player. I think he offers more. I think he's, uh, I think he's a scarier player to play against. So, um, yeah, interesting. Um, I don't. I mean, Rafinha's not done yet, and I'm hoping that maybe there's a bit of a bidding war. But yeah, I, I'm not too sure. Um, Shackleton is on his way out. Don't know if it's on loan. Don't know if it's a permanent deal. I didn't see too much about it, but I just see he's going out. Um, me, personally, I think we should send him out on loan. Give him a crack in the championship and see if he can get to that next level. Um, he, you know, we had so much... Um, there was so much positivity around Shackleton that he was next next big thing at the academy. Hasn't really kicked on under Bielsa or under Marsh. Um, Reading are in for Shackleton, apparently. So... Um, yeah, I, th I think alone to see how he goes and and then maybe bring him in as a squad player next year. But if we are looking to push on to that next level of football, maybe he's not the one. 
uh, maybe it's better off getting some money for him and um, using that on some more some more talent to, to bolster the squad. And last but not least, Harry Winks has been linked again for the 1500th time. I'm not keen on Winks. I'd rather take a crack on Kamara, Burge, O'Brien, um, who's the other one? Adams. All these players, I think, would be better giving them a crack because I just don't think Harry Winks, while he's played Premier League, he hasn't really... There was a stage there where everyone was talking about him, but he hasn't kicked on and he doesn't look great and he hasn't played much football. Um, and he's a bit older now. I don't... I don't like the Harry Wings deal, um, you know. But look, uh, maybe you know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not Jesse Marsh, so I don't know if he's looked at him. I don't know if he's popping up again because it popped up during Bielsa, the time with Bielsa. Um, but for me, that's a no go. I'm not keen on Harry Wings. Um, but anyway, I'll leave it there. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. That'd be fantastic. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think about. Anything I've spoken about, I'd love to hear it. Um, please keep it positive. Don't be negative. There's a few people that keep coming on here and being negative, and I don't. I just ignore your comment. I'm not going to comment back. Um, I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let it bring down my day. Um, so keep it positive. And even if it's a negative comment, like even if it's about disagreeing with me, you can just put it nicely. You don't need to be, for lack of a better word, a dick about it. Um, but yeah, enjoy your weekends. Uh, it's a Friday morning for me, so you guys, by the time a lot of you guys see it in England, it will be, uh, you know, a morning. It'll be Friday morning, and it'll be my, my Friday afternoon. Um, and if I don't get video out on the weekend, I will see you Monday morning. Peace.